May as well say upload instead of play, considering we're actually doing upload attempts and everything. I was only in play mode before, because there was no chance I could, I could possibly beat the level in 10 hours. There's really no chance I can beat it in 13 hours either, but just in case I have the greatest fluke of my entire life. Let us begin. As I said on my uh, extremely quiet playthrough of this level, I'm not actually expecting to need all that much practice of, like, section by section. Because I put so much effort into this level. And, I, and I'm, like, dedicating so much energy to beating it that I should know the level pretty much by heart. And... None of the things that you have to do in the level are particularly advanced. They're just very precise. It is more difficult than it looks. Like, much more difficult than it looks. Like, if you're if you're a layman who doesn't play much Mario Maker, you, you'll see this level and you'll think, Wait, what's actually so hard about it? It doesn't look that bad. Oh. <laughs> this level's not intended to get booze from anybody. It will get booze from Little Timmy's because that's just what they default to. Uh, I don't know... I don't know what the f*** they expected when they clicked Super Expert. But they will find this level and they will give it a boo because they can't beat it, so therefore it's my fault. Because there's no doubt this level will immediately get into Super Expert. Hey, King Boo! Thank you so much for showing up, thank you for the support, and... I don't think I'll be uploading it today, but... Hopefully at least I get a decent run or two in there. You are the number one person I was hoping would be part of the grind after all, since you beat the original Beast Needle, which is way harder than this. But I'm going to beat this one legit. The other nice thing about a level like this is, since I use the Pro Controller, this is the kind of level that the D-pad can screw me over the least. Like, I actually don't foresee the D-pad being that big of an issue anywhere in this level except for the last section. But, uh... We'll talk about that when we cross that bridge. We won't be getting there today. The goal is just to get one or, one or two more pipe threes to make sure that we're still consistent here. God bless. Uh, I, ju I jumped off of the buzzy beetle like one frame too late. It had already started going back to the left, so it completely killed my momentum. I couldn't get into the pipe. I hope the fact that, I hope the fact that I'm... Oh, finally. I hope the fact that I've, uh, you know, made it kind of toward the end section... An awful lot today is at least giving you some confidence. Okay. That's not progress. I mean, it is for today, but... I've been much further than this. Right there. Those two grinders, I could... I could those could use a buff. That jump is way too easy. I might make one uh, after the stream. That's. I think that's the last part of the level that really needs a buff. The rest of it is fine as is. Pipe 2. Ah. Yeah, exactly. So 
that will be the first time that the first pipe one of a session was actually a pipe two. Which I'm thinking, about time. <laughs> I think I was owed an extra pipe because it took 19 minutes to get there. Back to back. Which is not the first time that's happened. It would be the first time I had back-to-back -back pipe twos, though, if I can get that far. Like I said, you just gotta do it once, and all of a sudden the floodgates open. I love that that's a consistent thing for me from the VVVVV days. This part is a little bit timing dependent, but not as bad as the uh, stuff in section four. Wow, here, there it is, back-to-back -back pipe twos. Oh, shoot. Oh! Pipe three! Already! Oh! That tied the best run of art I've ever had already. And I'm stunned that both of my pipe threes have made it past that muncher and the trampolines. Because that is one of the tougher and tighter jumps in the level, even though it might not look so tough. That is quite surprising. Especially considering this is being live-streamed. Normally I have a bit of a debuff when I live-stream these attempts, but... Uh, not this time, I guess. That would have been my first three in a row. Uh, things won't get really serious until I have my first pipe four, though. That's when we can actually start talking about beating the level. I definitely do think that I'm kind of sort of pushing my laptop about as far as it can go, but having three active hotkeys for different programs on. But I need the uh, I, I need the voice mod to be active in order for my microphone to sound better. So if I'm gonna have that open in the background, I may as well have my little sensor at the ready. Man, even <laughs> even with the munchers actually extended out, that did not look like. Where the hitbox should be, but this is Mario Maker Two. You gotta, you gotta live with it. Because that's the thing. There was a noticeably slightly smaller hitbox in Maker One with um, the Muncher compared to the um, Spike, but they appear to have like renormalized them because Leto jumps through two. Munchers are just as pixel perfect as they are through spikes now. There is actually a Leto jump in this level, but it's through a couple of piranha plants, and that's at least a little more doable. These stretches are going to happen where I'm just going to die to the first jump six times in a row. It's going to happen. I've already accepted that because, well, it's actually a really hard jump. So I think it's not going to get to me. I've been wrong before, though. You know, when I'm dug in for a super long grind, it takes a lot more to, to rile me up. One frame too late again. I, I, I'm, I'm getting close... To crowning the first pipe entry to be the Ronald W of this level. After listening to Steve Dangle screaming in anger, I wonder where uh, where Ilya Samsonov will will end up this year. 
he with the five hole the size of the pyramids of Giza. <laughs> That's the one liner of the year. <laughs> I'm shocked that I've actually gotten past that spike three times in a row. Ah! It's another pipe two, though. So today we've had one pipe one, two pipe twos, and one pipe three. Interesting distribution. I hope, I hope that means that section two is becoming routine for me. That would be the easiest explanation for it, and that's what I hope it is. Because if Section 2 is becoming routine, then that means I have a much better chance of beating the level. I want to beat this before September 11th. I've got my 9YMM level queued up for that day. I still haven't decided whether I want to uh, make the red coins optional, or just delete the red coins in the primary world and keep the ones in the sub-world. You know, po so, that, so that after you get the checkpoint, all of them will still be in reach. I'm quite fond of those spinies guarding the, the second red coin, even though they're not too difficult of an obstacle. I'm not going to buff that one. Four no on that jump. Whoop. This is one of the buffs that I made since, since releasing the trailer video. Didn't stop me though. Pipe three. It's now one, two, two. I've already got my goal. I wanted two. I wanted two pipe threes. And I've already got... Oh! I've already got it in 41 minutes. This is the best run I've ever had. Oh! Really? That's... Not where I expected that run to end. Oh well. Okay, so I've met the goal of the stream already, and... We still have two hours and 19 so far, minutes so to go. That's right. I've disabled my uh, my mini soundboard because, well, it would be awfully annoying to uh, to hear. Hang on. To hear this every time I die. You are dead. Not a big surprise. I, I expect pretty much anybody who's not comfortable with possession will be weeded out before they get to the first pipe. Which is another reason why I made the uh, the preview level. Everything up to the first pipe. Uh, Ilya Samson Samsonov, the goalie. The super inconsistent goalie. So I guess he just got traded, eh? I thought it might be Vegas, the way you reacted. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like it might be a decent fit because you got rid of Logan Thompson and he, you know, can be great and also can be really bad and so is Ilya Samsonov from what I, from what I understand from Steve Dangle's madness. Five and zero oh on that jump. It isn't too surprising that I'm seeing some more success with this part, because it is probably the shortest and easiest of the... I didn't think I made that. Oh, come on! I had to open my big mouth. I cannot believe I had even one death there. 
That wasn't even supposed to be a part where you should die. <laughs> oh well, it's just a pipe too then. Third freaking time. So annoying. Yep, that's my Ronald W. I'm calling it. Wow. That is pretty much just bad luck. That hasn't happened yet in any playthrough I've played here so far, so I'm... I don't feel compelled to nerf that or make it a little bit friendlier. That that also could have been avoided without, you know, me having to move the pieces around a little bit. So, I'm not concerned with that, but that is, a, that is pretty unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. A planet bigger than the planet that the country resides on, no less. Eh. Jeez, what what what's up with that fire pattern? Again, it's never treated me quite that badly before. There's slight elements of RNG to this. I don't think I don't think I went overboard though. That's that's definitely not one of the places that I that I plan on buffing, and especially not now. Now that I've seen what can happen if you're unlucky enough. Ah. Alright, I guess Section 2 is not free yet. <laughs> Which is good, I don't want it to be free. And telescopes aren't as good in 1911 as they are nowadays. Huh? Chess WC, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to Planet Vegeta. Enjoy your stay. And I appreciate your I appreciate your enthusiasm. And once I once I get past the first pipe, I don't want to pause too often. Six and zero oh on that jump. Oop. Oh. Huh. Pipe three. Ah, there it is. I knew I'd have several deaths to that. Good run, though. That's the fourth best run so far. So you're joining on a good one there, Chess. Ronald W. Yeah. That's definitely the Ronald W of the run. It's it's so annoying because that just looks like it should be so simple. Just jump onto the buzzy beetle and get up into the pipe, but it's not quite that simple due to either some wonky momentum thing happening or just poor execution on my part. Crossing a bridge. Ah! That's a fairly common one, actually.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. I said that probably wouldn't even happen again, and yet it happens in the same stream. Uh, the worst part about that is I have to, I have to include that in the YouTube highlights. I have to now. I can't hide from that. Hi, GIA. How have you been doing? Congratulations again on beating the iris consistency level. <coughs> Something's in my throat. I'm crying. It's nothing serious. It happens all the time, but... Still, it's annoying that it triggers tears. I am hoping to cry at the end of this grind, but uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> if, if I have to cough because there's like some random little particle inside my throat, that does not count as crying over this level. I did not cry at, at v, 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 v though, so that might not happen. I can't even really say it's my Asperger's because you don't need empathy to cry over your own achievements. The only thing that might help make this one feel better than, than v, 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 v is the fact that I made this. I can feel proud, not that I beat it, but also that I made it. Oh my god. I just realized... The game audio has been extremely quiet this entire stream. I only just now realized that I had the Elgato at, at, neg at minus 28.9 decibels. Because of because I was rec I was recording the extremely quiet playthrough <laughs> for the 10th hour. <laughs> so I just now put it back up to minus 12.9, so I increased it by 16 decibels. Alright, thank you so much, GIA. I only now realize that you can barely hear the game. Oh well. I fixed it now. And the winning run will not have that problem. <laughs> wow. Oh! That is 69 Pipe 1s. That's the one exception I'm making for my for my uh, mini soundboard. <laughs> All right, next attempt is the last one. I don't care how bad it is. Crap, that usually works. All right, there you have it. We're 13 hours into Beast Needle Zero now. Let me disable my hotkeys so that I don't screw anything up here. Pretty good stream. Ten pipe twos and three pipe threes. That's a W as far as I'm concerned. Spike. Of course, I can't be allowed to break the trend. I am not allowed to go through that pipe until at least 10 minutes have passed. I wonder how much easier this level would have been with Mario Maker 1 Spike in Monster Physics. Oh my gosh. Obviously, you can't make this in Mario Maker 1. Well, you can't make the slope parts anyway. Is an on-off section as well. Because I know it would be easier with Mario Maker 1 hitboxes. Just 
I don't know how much easier it would be. Of course, if we had Mario Maker 1 hitboxes, I'd put in some Leto jumps for you. Oh! Okay, then. I, I was just died in the buff. Apparently, it, it did make a difference. Like, it's barely even noticeable, and yet somehow I hecked it up. That was insanely lucky. Let's go, Floodgates! Oh no, I lost 23 scouters. And you gained some. You gained 13. Now YouTube is advertising... The First Descendant, which is a blatant ripoff of Warframe. Warframe isn't my number one game of choice, but I still enjoyed it enough to be offended by how badly it's being ripped off here. Um... Uh, maybe? <laughs> um... The best word as a geologist that I can use to describe my, my, my current status of playing Warframe is quiescent. I have no immediate plans to play it again, but that doesn't mean that I'm not capable of hopping right back in and playing it for like three months. Um, yeah, fun geology fact. There are four different words that are used to describe the activity level of a volcano. Active means that it's blown up at least once in the past, like, maybe 150 years, and is just... Even if it might look quiet now, it, it, it absolutely is seismically capa capable of, of blowing up again. Quiescent is one that has had recent, like, s sort of recent eruption history, but it hasn't done anything meaningful within the last century, or within the last, like, couple centuries. But, uh... There is evidence that, I guess, cyclically speaking, it can reactivate at some point in the near-ish future. Then there are dormant volcanoes, which have not erupted for over a thousand years, and don't appear to be in any immediate danger of reactivating. However, it's not beyond the rumble possibility that it will reactivate again later, just not within the next foreseeable f decades or, or something. And then an extinct volcano is one where you can forget about it. It's not going to erupt again. It's already had its moment in the sun. It's not going to have another one. It is safe to be near. It's just going to let itself die to erosion like the rest of the planet. Oh, you think that's fun? You know what the definition of an active fault line is? Any fault line that's triggered an earthquake within the last 10,000 years. Yeah, really. Some say even just within the Holocene, which is the last 11,750 years. For me as a gamer, another example of that terminology is... I am a dormant Sonic Lost World player. The only time I'm going to play that again is for a punishment game. But yeah, so um, unless I have a reason to punish myself, you won't see me play that again. Oh my god. Apparently that's actually hard. I had no pro I had no problem getting past that when I was playtesting it, but okay. The buff is real. I'm, I'm happy with that. I, I actually made that kind of challenging. <sighs> that's why that spike is there, but that's still an annoying way to die. 
not often nearly as good of a start in this one that, as I was yesterday. Oh my god. Remember yesterday I had I had two pipe threes by the 41 minute mark. Guess what? It's the 41 minute mark. I haven't gotten past section two yet. Thanks in part to the buff that I just gave it. Which is far more significant than I thought it'd be because I I, I breezed past it when I playtested it, but <laughs> not in the real runs I haven't. Maybe it's because I took it lightly. I'm gonna stop taking it lightly now. I can't have one good run today. Oh my gosh. We're nearly a third of the way through the stream and we haven't seen a pipe two yet. Then again, the fact that that buff doesn't look really any different than the original, and yet it plays much harder, is completely on brand for this level. There you go, there's your dead block. That's slightly embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of remarkable how softly you can jump if you if you really press it for just two frames, or one frame, or whatever. Hey, at least it's a pipe, too. <laughs> Maybe we need a separate floodgate to open. Maybe that was a trick. Each pipe represents a, fl a floodgate. Except for the, for the, uh, the sixth pipe. The sixth pipe represents the ocean. Where all the water discharges and is happy forever. Uh... <laughs> I'm not having fun. Okay, I'm having some fun. But not as much as I was yesterday. <laughs> you know how much credit I deserve for my playing today? <laughs> this level will be absolutely impossible in the original Super Mario Brothers. With the way, with the way aerial momentum worked in that game. Finally, another pipe too. That death is one that I rarely think about, but it is fairly common. <laughs> wow. I jumped softer than I had originally intended, and yet I was actually able to make a correction in midair to accommodate for that. How do I have that much brain power there, but I have enough lethargy to die to the first jump 11 times in a row, or however many that was? <laughs> oh, my thumb airballed the airballed the jump button again because you got to jump so softly there. Hey. In the words of the in the words of the SpongeBob movie, we're on a baby hunt. I don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Hey, here's a fun little puff idea for this level. Make the whole thing upside down. I can. I can just turn it into nighttime and then boom. I won't, though. Oh, heck me. I'm gonna have a mixed feeling in my, st in my stomach, and I completely missed. My thumb. Oh, I also missed the pause button. 
Woo! I love not touching the buttons that I'm trying to touch. <sighs> Come on, man. That is so 2016. <sighs> Timing was a little off there. Evidently, that's my most effective buff yet. <laughs> I'm definitely done with it. Definitely done with it. I don't need to make the level any harder. Oh my god, what a death. Oh boy. Awkward, but we're still going. There we go, about time. Pipe three. Ah! And that's where three of my pipe threes have ended. Oh, it took me an hour and 54 minutes to get that far in this one. I've got an hour and six minutes left. Really? Racking up all the pipe ones today. Nice. Here we go. Okay, we got multiple pipe threes in this stream. Things finally kind of shaped up. And hey, it's not over yet, is it? Same pixel! <laughs> that jumped so hard. There's still a number of things I haven't yet done in Mario Maker 2. I haven't made an SMB2 level. I have not made a Super Ball level. I have not made a Link level. I haven't made a good 3D world level. <laughs> I haven't made a feather level. Oh! Uh, Paco J, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Planet Vegeta and enjoy your stay. Section 3 is the easiest of the lot, so I would not be surprised if I truly ended up getting quite consistent. Of course, I couldn't finish the sentence. <laughs> but I would not be surprised if I ended up getting pretty consistent with, with uh, Section 3. It's amazing how every time you open your mouth, you prove you're an idiot! Thank you. I teed that one up for you. And then you hit it, and then some <laughs> yelled mashed potatoes for no good reason. Okay, well, pipe one, number 100, will have to wait. Nice. And we turned it around. We have a third pipe three. Just like yesterday. Oh! I even got past that jump. Ah! So that's the second best run so far. That's another jump, by the way. The one that I just died to, that's way harder than it looks. There's no shame in dying like that. There you go, guys. 100 pipe ones. And I'm going to have to shrink that text 
by a couple of pixels. I'll do that when I I'll do that once I have reconnected my mouse because I don't trust my trackpad. You can come up with your own rhythm, but I'll stick with what works for me. we now have more pipe threes today than we had yesterday remember i had two in the first 41 minutes yesterday today it took me over an hour to get my first pipe two i cannot believe how consistent i've suddenly gotten and that's after a bathroom break too we got five pipe threes today And I just randomly swallowed heavy air. What a session this turned out to be. Whoa. Another pipe three. I tapped right! He didn't want to move right, though. I think it's because, at least in SMB 1, if you bounce on springboards consecutively the game will just kind of renormalize your position, so even if you do tap right, it won't matter. Yeah, yeah, it won't matter unless you miss the spring coming down a second time. Much. I love the Holo Live girls. There's something about really. There's something about them that there's just there's so many clips that I can watch several times and and my cheeks will hurt from smiling every time. Which is very rare for me. Normally when I watch you know one thing more than once it's it's sleep fodder. The other exception, uh, the, the other example, or the, yeah, the other exception of that would be, um, Steve Dangle. <laughs> Watch, watching the living embodiment of rage, time after time after time, will never not be funny. Uh, trend broken! Barely. I got it into a pipe before the 10 minute mark, but it did take me nine, so. Don't get too excited. Yeah, you, you can't even facetiously call it a blessing for the Chargers because on paper, they, they should probably have four or five Super Bowls. But they have zero. They're cripplingly addicted to losing. <laughs> they are the grandmasters of snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. I'm just I'm just happy and proud of them that they're that that their charge ring is no longer undiscovered. People have finally taken notice of of, of how bad they can be. 
primarily thanks to 27 to nothing and 63 to 21. I think the Chargers are slowly becoming like the tragic protagonists of the NFL. Type 2. Ah. Again, I'm surprised I don't die to that spike more. I struggle a lot on that one in practice. Yeah, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Remember, last last session, it took over an hour to get my first pipe to. Of course, I don't drink. So that wasn't a factor either. Oh, that reminds me. We went to Costco today, which is one of the which is the main reason why why I'm starting later than I than I would have wanted to. But I'm not going to turn down to visit to Costco and their food court. <laughs> uh, but yeah, on the freeway towards Costco, there's a sign that said, "Fireworks are bright. Drunk driving is not." made that one, but I did. Boy, if I can start this well, this is... Oh, I made it. Pipe three. Holy smokes. How am I doing this well already? Ah, two hours. 16 minutes, and I have a pipe one, a pipe two, and a pipe three. Remember, this is going to be a four hour st session. I did take a couple of days off, and you know what I've, what I've been saying slash discovering about myself. I don't rust. I time skip. Maybe that's happening again here. Of course, it's if that does happen, we can expect a pipe four today. So if there's no pipe four, this is not a time skip. I just happen to be playing really well early. It'll definitely be a lot easier to do here because... Oh, wait. I said I was gonna... Hold on. Forgot to shrink this text a little bit. That's great, too, because I highlighted that in the video. I highlighted myself saying, um, saying that I'll wait until later when I have my mouse back because I don't trust my trackpad so that it doesn't tilt people when I don't shrink the text over the rest of the highlights from 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 stream two, and then here I am being forced to use a trackpad because I'm an idiot and I completely forgot to shoot the text again. Maybe this is how Mario trains to get into the Olympic Games by playing Beast Needle Zero. <laughs> Imagine Beast Needle Zero at the Olympic Games. <laughs> like not with gamers. Who are actually good at Mario playing it, but like the actual Olympic athletes just having to go through, either go through this or just play it as a video game, just be all confused as far as like, wait, why is this even a thing? I would be excited to see how hard this level is for other players, except I know that, I mean, unless you really are serious about playing it. Um, there's only going to be two types of people who play it, which is the crybabies who are in way over their head, they'll die twice and boo it and cry, and the people who are three standard deviations better than me. You, however, are in between them, and I am actually quite happy that you're willing to play it, even though I I still caution you to... to <laughs> 
for, for your current skill level. You know, based on what I've... on what I've seen and heard about it. At least I know that... that you at least have a decent understanding of what you're in for, and you want to do this because A, we're buddies, and B, you're a masochist like I am. This isn't really- this is not the case of you necessarily under- underestimating the grind, it's just that you- you welcome it. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you to reconsider and you're like, that- <laughs> that just, uh, intensifies my reason to go- to go for it. I think I had that motion. I don't know if I'm completely down pat, but a whole lot better than I thought I would. There's a lot of practice runs died in that section. Hi! Ah! Oh. That is such a hard jump get to the final segment, the, uh, hundred second jingle may go off, but that's about it. Heck. Of course, I had to say that I have that one possibly down pat, and immediately the next time I get there, I lose. It's a very me way to do that, but still, what an incredible first 30 minutes this is. Oh, uh, that's so ugly. No deaths to Ronald W. yet, though. For the first 30 minutes of the stream, that's pretty impressive. Of course, we all know that now that I said that, my next death will be Ronald W. Oh-ho! Moment of truth. I did get past Ronald W. again. Not very far, though. King Boo! Oh, you do? I, I said I was done making buffs, but D Cheese is another... Is another, uh... I am interested, actually. Um, hold on. That, or... Jump against the blocks and enter left. Like that. Ah! You mean like this? Okay, so obviously... Obviously we want to do that. Yeah, that, that doesn't even feel like a buff because it's because I won't be changing my strat at all. It's just that you can't do that easier strat. Ooh. I think we're at the point now where, I'll, where where I can actually cut around a pipe too, when uh, when editing for the, for footage. There are a dime a dozen now. It also just looks better. I I, I realize now that it just looks weird to have two regular blocks and two spikes. This 17th hour, though, has been most impressive. Pipe. 
three. Almost died to that ceiling spot. Hitbox, please. I, I think that we've already ascertained through our um, fantasy league that football is just a sport where all where all little Timmy energy just gets sucked into. As the kids say, football is it would be an outlet where we return to monk. Because kids don't like to type the Y at the end of monkey. They like to say monk instead. Because that's hilarious. I, I guess. Then again, that's coming from a guy who is genuinely amused every time I see an E, so I'm not one to, I'm not one to talk. This definitely will not have a high clear rate. I should mention, I, I kind of forgot to say this earlier, but I, I, I have that little arrow there just to indicate that there's a spike there, because it, it can be a little bit hard to see against that background. Okay. Oh, come on! Mario Maker 2 hitboxes. As I've been saying, it's very on brand for this level that that jump does not look hard. But it's possibly the hardest jump in the whole level. There's Ronald W. Actually, before I continue, um... There's one lesson that I've learned uh, over my many years of Mario Maker that I should probably pass down to you. Clear rates are not everything. Because, let me tell you about the original Beast Needle. When King Boo beat it, it had a clear rate, uh, thanks to him, of about 1 out of 5,700. Which, by like Mario Maker 1 crazy impossible level standard, is not that much. It's very hard, but it's but like it doesn't look like it would be that exceptionally hard. The level is way harder than that. But he did a whole bunch of runs in practice mode and editor and everything to to make sure he knew what he was what he was up against at every single corner. So the clear rate is not reflective of the amount of effort that he put into in practice mode. And of course, King Boo was one of the only people who was actually genuinely trying to beat it. Anyone else who got it pretty much immediately noped out of it when they saw how, how, what they were in for. Understandably. So clear rates are not a be-all, end-all for how hard a level is. The, the only way to get a good idea of, of... Or the only way that clear rates actually convey accurate information is if they're actually very popular people. I do kind of wonder how easy this level would be if I just made the entire thing but put it in the NSMBU format so you have much more, you know, maneuverability. That might actually be kind of a funny idea. Actually, the the last section... The last section is very specific to SMB1 Vine physics. That might actually not work with any other theme. But other than that, it would be a lot easier, I, I would have to imagine. Especially that one jump in uh, section 4, the on-off jump. Either twirling or wall jumping would completely trivialize that. That and I can just jump on top of the on-off switch and ground pound it so there wouldn't even really be that much of a danger. I should think about that. Just copy pasting this level and uh, turning it into NSMBU. <laughs> Beast Needle Zero, but it's NSMBU. I can do that for like the one year anniversary of whenever it ends up coming out. You know what, that's a fun idea, assuming that uh, I can still upload levels in August 2025. 
Say to say I've mastered the buff by now. <laughs> it's getting me a lot of times yesterday, but or the other day. But I think I finally figured it out. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. It, it it did its job. It definitely improved the difficulty, and I don't need to make any more edits unless they're to get rid of cheese. Pipe three is the part where we should start all, all start paying attention to the run. Pipe four is when it's time to get really hyped. Or even just the third subsection of section of section four. Remember, pipe three is a halfway point. The cool story Bob door. Well, it's not a door in my level, but that's to make trials of death analogies. Because what else would I be making? This level's nowhere near as hard as Trials of Death, but it, it, it's my Trials of Death, at least so far. And Trials of Death is what got me onto Twitch. do quitter talk. If wanted to do quitter talk, you would talk about quitters on Twitter. But I deleted mine in a righteous blaze of anger a long time ago. And by righteous blaze of anger, I mean a righteous sigh of disappointment for how bad that platform actually is. <laughs> I really am hot today. Figuratively. It's a little hot today, literally, but not unbearably so. Yet another pipe three. Heck. I like the, the the way that uh, spike top works there. Gonna add just the appropriate amount of oomph to that section. Ah! That's eight pipe threes in under a hundred minutes. So twenty four pipes in under a hundred minutes. Even if I didn't have my pipe ones and my pipe twos today, that'd still be a pretty strong minutes per pipe ratio. Oh, I've also decided uh, what I'm going to do about about um, punishment games. Since my projected time for beating this was somewhere between 60 and 70 hours, if I go over 70, I will add a punishment game. And if I go over 80, I'll add another one. Over 90, I'll add another one, and, and so on. That's the, that's the thing. I will never, ever, ever put this level up in a viewer level stream. There's no way they'll get they're gonna get very far within within you know a reasonable time frame if there's a queue of other people's levels behind it. <laughs> oh, believe me, I am very well aware of, of the skill uh, across across uh, Super Mario Brothers. Because, like, you cannot speak of the overall skill level in linear terms. Like, it has to be either logarithmic or probabilistic. Because I would say I'm probably three uh, standard deviations above the average player. But there are players who are three standard deviations ahead of me. Like, I'm absolutely not in the same 
ballpark of the best player in the world at all. But I'm also much better than, than your, you know, garden variety Mario Maker player who's just getting into the game for the first time. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. I will have to ask you to hold off on that until after I'm through with this grind, though, which will be a while. When I'm done with this grind, I will bring back a uh, channel points reward. For 700 zenny, you will be able to... to select the play my level option. But I've disabled that while I'm, while I'm playing this super hard level, because I want to focus all my energy onto it. And it's paying off so far. This has been a great session. That is a real relief, I gotta say. <laughs> That's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, you, you can... I'm sure you can well imagine that I, I get a lot of people who can't read the title of my stream and just dump their levels anyway. That's turning out a lot more consistent than I thought, which is good. I'm glad that that, that, that little blue spike top is actually pretty consistent. Come on with that! Fantastic! You're more than welcome to. So is the real Nukem. Well, I don't know if he's looking for first clear, but he does want to beat it. Oh, GIA on his stream, which... which Fantastic! Shout out to GIA. Thank you so much for the support, man. Of course, King Boo. I, I have to advise both of you that uh, King Boo, the the one who beat the original Beast Needle, which is way harder than this, is perfectly aware of this level in case he wants to to snipe the both of you. Okay, so this level won't be uncleared for too long, then. <laughs> I've been all over the first half of this level. Everybody's gotten a real good look at the first half of it. You mean my maker code? I haven't memorized it, honestly. Uh, if you want to know... I suppose I could, uh... It is that. N-R-C-Y-2-D-W-D-G. Alrighty. Thank you for the interest. Are you a member of Team Zero Percent by any chance that I, that I just haven't uh, interacted with? Oh! Well, the good news for you is that you're not that far behind uh, the real Nukem. <laughs> Which means that this level has now directly inspired two people to get better at Mario Maker. Fantastic! And possibly more, judging by the uh, support we're getting from GIA88. Oh. Lil Theogarden. Or Tia Garden. Welcome to Planet Vegeta and enjoy your stay. Thank you so much for that follow. I'm actually kind of affecting people in a good way. I mean, I'd still be happy just with the intrinsic reward of beating the level in the first place, but I'm even happier now that there's an extrinsic reward of actually inspiring other people. This really is one of the first times that I've actually been... that I've been given, like, proof positive that... that my content is actually helping people. In some small, small way. Well, helping would be a stretch. Well, helping or inspiring. Because I don't know if... <laughs> making people want to get better at Mario Maker counts as help, but... Yeah.
Jump! Oh my gosh, that was so bad. All right, it's great to know that that I actually have people coming in here who are uh, who are aware of the original Beast Lethal. The first the first section was designed to be to be a uh, a pretty direct inspiration from the original level. I made it my own thing more and more as we went along into the level. So I'm actually kind of happy you said that because that tells me that I that I did at least the original inspiration well. What? Even by Mario Maker 2 standards, that hitbox was bull <laughs> I'm noticing also that our... That our newcomers to the stream... Ooh, are largely... Ugh, not actually looking at the, uh, the preview video, which tells me that, they're just, that they just want to, uh strap themselves in and enjoy the ride without actually, you know, taking time off to see what exactly is coming. If that's the case, then fantastic. That means I'm doing something right. At least I want to tell myself that. I want to stay positive. <laughs> Staying positive is important when you want to play a level like this. If it becomes too annoying to um, note every single pipe one that I have, I might actually get rid of that entirely. <laughs> Excuse me. I might actually get rid of that and only keep track of pipe twos and above. I have pipe ones, uh, you know, being keeping track of for now because that's significant because that's where the preview level ends. And. Three thousand deaths on Beast Needle Zero. Give it up for three thousand deaths. That doesn't make anywhere near as good of a sound as I was hoping for. I do, th I do think that he's the best Mario brother in uh, Smash Brothers, at least, though. Oh, come on! I landed on the ground and I still had momentum? Okay. I feel like it's, uh, my, my, um, my crop of Pipe 3s is drying up. It's still been a good stream already, even if I bomb the rest of the way, but, uh, I definitely feel like my skill is very slowly tapering off. Oh wait, I kind of had to keep track of them. I kind of had to keep track of the pipe ones because if I don't keep track of the pipe ones, then the minutes per pipe stat will be all screwed up. I guess there will come a point when when I no longer care about how consistent I am. I just care about how close to the end I can get. This run is at least something. Ah, that's terrible. Terrible. Still, I'll take a pipe two at this point. Oh, I forgot you were doing Minecraft at the beginning of the stream. The amount of addiction some people have to Minecraft is truly disturbing, I must say. Not you. Um, I'm thinking of certain other people. Like, uh, <clears throat> Holo Live Indonesia. I'm still sticking with this formula, though. If it happens that the fourth hour of, it, of all my four hour streams is garbage, you know what, whatever. There's still. It's still me 
try my honest to god hardest to beat the level, so it should it should count all the same. Cool improvement. Pipe three, bout heckin' time. I actually am going to go ahead and just practice this early section of uh, section four. Thank you again, B99. <laughs> you know what? I'm beginning to think I was wrong about being wrong. This really doesn't feel like it's accomplishing jack. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry to say the only thing that practice session confirmed is that section four is hard as Well, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. There you go. 20 hours of Beast Needle Zero complete. 